Hey guys, I'm uh, here in the garage and I got about halfway done my 3.4 Whipple install. Uh, but when I went to go hook up the EGR valve, it looks like it's going to contact my fuel rails. Actually it is. Just grab it here. So as you can see, the EGR is not going to fit. Uh, it is going to have to be moved. So, I'm in the process of making an adapter block right now, so I will be able to run an EGR with these aftermarket fuel rails. Alright, so here is the adapter block that I came up with. Um, if it looks like I did it with hand tools, you would be correct. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, here's where it would mount to the stock EGR. And uh, you can see it moves it up about three quarters of an inch. So we can uh, have a hole through the middle. It adapts it from the new location to the old location. And uh, we're going to throw it in the car and see if it works out. All right, the uh, EGR is mounted up onto the supercharger. Uh, looks pretty good. I'll just come to the side. You can see how high it is above the fuel rail now. It's probably like an inch higher than it, so I should have lots of clearance. And I also have the supplied Whipple EGR tube in, which I'm going to modify so it comes out right above that coolant hose and right into the EGR. So I'm going to have to cut it and get it welded. That's Next. All right, the EGR is mounted on the adapter, and I was going to hook the wiring harness up to it, but of course it doesn't reach now. So I split the wiring harness and just see if I could pull some slack out of it, but unfortunately, two wires are holding me up because they go to the other side of the car. So I'm going to have to uh, cut them and lengthen them. Hey guys, so here's my uh, adapter, EGR adapter. I got it all painted up, painted it with some high heat paint. Then while I was at it, I also painted the uh, base of the EGR, so now it's not all so rusty looking. And here's my new EGR tube. So what I did was I took the Whipple EGR, cut it right here, grabbed another chunk of stainless, got it bent, flared it, then I got a buddy to weld it all together. Now I'm going to put it on the car. Alright, so I got the EGR test fitted and everything looks good. Uh, my wiring harness is lengthened just enough. Um, there looks like ample clearance from the EGR tube over the coolant hoses and wiring. All the way down, doesn't hit the firewall. Looks good. I also got some heat shield on the fuel line at the back so it doesn't get too hot. So now I'm going to uh, take it all apart, uh, put it all together with the uh, thread locker and uh, put the heat shielding on the EGR tube. Alright, there it is guys, all connected, I've uh, got the heat shield on the EGR, fits really nice, looks like lots of clearance between the fuel lines, I also put a little tie strap on this heater line just to bend it down just a little bit, don't know if I need it to, but I did it anyways, just gonna clean up a little bit more wiring, and it's on. Stay tuned for some videos of the first startup and uh, we'll let you know if it works or not.